We also know that high calorie diets, that is things that uh, contain a lot of sugar, particularly simple carbohydrates, also increase inflammation of the brain and they're connected to high incidence of Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. We also know that uh, when you're consuming these things in large amounts, it produces an activation of the brain's immune cells. Uh, these are called microglia. We're now discovering that many of the neurological diseases, even multiple sclerosis, strokes, head trauma, are all related to activation of these microglia. So if you're eating a diet that contains these bad foods, you're increasing microglial activity, free radical degeneration of the brain, and you're setting yourself up for a high risk of developing one of these terrible neurodegenerative disorders. Of concern with inflammation of the brain is obesity. We know that people who are obese have a much higher risk of developing Alzheimer's disease, particularly as they get older. And that's because the fat cells and the lymphocytes and the macrophages in the fat cells inside of our abdomen, what's called intra-abdominal fat, produces a very high level of pro-inflammatory cytokines. These are chemicals that produce inflammation. And so when you have a high uh, intra-abdominal fat content, your risk of a number of neurological diseases goes up tremendously. This is a reason to watch your diet as well, so that if you reduce your intake of sugars and uh, high carbohydrate foods, you reduce this inflammation. Now the brain lipid repair formula and the brain repair formula together contain many things that help these various conditions that we've been discussing. For instance, they boost mitochondrial function. They protect the mitochondria. They contain antioxidants. They contain various nutrients that are very powerful anti-inflammatories and reduce inflammation of the brain. And they contain things that improve the membranes of brain cells so that they function better and are more fluid, what we call brain cell fluidity. So we're accomplishing many of the things that we set out to do, including reducing excitotoxicity in the brain. So in combination, by using doses which enhance each other's strength, so that we don't have to use very high doses of the various components. We can accomplish the goals that we set out to accomplish and protect the brain. And we feel that based on the scientific literature, if taken over a long period of time in conjunction with a good diet, regular exercise, which includes brain exercises as well as physical exercises, adequate sleep, that you will have a significant reduction and the degeneration of the brain. We thank you and wish you good health.